Do you feel J.R. Tolkien, the author of The Hobbit and other series, has wrote any of his books on the basis of witchcraft? Many of the themes in the books are those used to... This person couldn't have been here last night. Every book written by J.R.R. Tolkien, including the Silmarillion, just finished by Christopher, and you'll find Christopher's name on those handouts, was not written by him. Until Tolkien wrote these, these things used in witchcraft, as you put it, were secrets to witchcraft. And Tolkien was a member, along with another gentleman I'm going to mention in a minute, both were supposed confessed born-again Christians, but both were members of the Golden Dawn. That's the Rothschild's private church in London. It's the oldest colon in the world. And he gained order, he gained permission both from the council and the Rothschild personally to take things from the Book of Shadows, the Witchcraft Bible, and print them in books. You may think that the Hobbit and the books of the Triology, like the Lord of Rings and the Tars and so on, and the Silmarillion are fairy tales. But they're the gospel to witches. According to witches, those things really did take place. If you've got them in your home, you wouldn't own a Satanist Bible, at least I hope you wouldn't. Pray for you if you would. And you wouldn't own a witchcraft Bible. Why would you own part of the witchcraft Bible? Now you can go, don't do this, but you could go to the occult stores and you could pick up many books that came out after the Hobbit came out that bear the alphabet of witchcraft, the runes. But the Hobbit released them first. And they were secret upon the penalty of death till then. And nobody could have written them that had not been in witchcraft. Now, there's a Christian author whose books are sold in every Christian bookstore. That's why I don't like Christian bookstores. Who claims that Tolkien went into the Lord. He forgot to say what Lord. And his books are required reading before you can join a COVID. Required studying. His name is C.S. Lewis. You pray about it. But they should go in the fireplace right along. And I'm going to quote from one of Lewis's books. The pathway to God is like a hall with many doors. They all lead to God. Not on your life. Jesus says that anybody comes other than through him is a thief and a robber. 